Researchers say it'll probably be a year until there's a vaccine for COVID-19, but they're hoping we won't have to wait a year all longer to have a treatment. They're looking at a bunch of medications that we have used in the past. WHO launched a mega trial called Solidarity. It's looking at four different treatments. One such treatment is a combination of hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine are helpful as they can get into fatty molecules called lipids. Lipids are found in cell membranes. They surround the cell. This means hydroxychloroquine can go to essentially any part of your body. Hydroxychloroquine is also a weak base. It likes to take hydrogen ions, which makes solutions acidic. But once they do this, they can't leave the cell. They're stuck there. They also calm the immune system from going into overdrive. This happens because of their effect on lysosomes. Lysosomes are the part of the cell that destroy or eat rogue compounds that may be harmful to a cell. The chunks of rogue compounds in lysosomes help the cell by telling them what to do. These chunks break down and become antigens. Antigens are a dangerous substance that enters your body, which causes the body to make antibodies as a response. Sometimes, antigens tell the cell to attack the body's own cells. Hydroxychloroquine interferes with that process. And since lysosomes are acidic, the medicine finds its way into the lysosomes. The lysosomes can't function the same way anymore after it becomes a base. The medication can also help dampen cell response. If that sounds dangerous for someone with COVID-19, it surprisingly isn't. The thing with deadly viruses is, at least to a certain limit, it's not the virus that kills a person. When an infected cell dies, the immune system knows there's a virus, and they release chemicals called cytokines. The effects of this is called inflammation. Massive amounts of inflammation can cause even healthy cells to die, causing more immune cells to show up and release cytokines. And the process is repeated over and over, and this ends up killing a person. Although, along with the good things the medication can do, it may also have a few side effects. For example, for people with G6PD, or who take the heart medication digoxin, the medicine can sometimes be fatal. If too much of the medication is taken at the same time, then it can lead to blindness and heart problems. So we've got to talk with our doctors before taking the medication. Thank you for watching and remember to stay home and stay safe.